friends and welcome back to the channel you're watching project dark knight horror and i'm your host the dark knight it's that time again so close the door shut the curtains and turn off the lights and go full screen as you get ready to watch Scary paranormal videos that show ghosts, poltergeists and demons caught on camera. Before we begin, I've hidden a secret word somewhere in the video. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to find the word along with the timestamp and drop it down below in the comment section. And the first three people to find the word along with the timestamp will get a shout out at the beginning of the next video. The last video's secret word was demonic. Well done to the first three people who commented the right information. Their names are King, Cyrus Sales, and Welcome to Wayne's World. Well done and thank you for watching the video carefully and finding the word. Mind you, I don't make it easy and I like it to be a challenge. So keep your eyes wide open and good luck for this video. Let's begin. Checking out in Chile. For our first case, we're taking a trip to South America and the country of Chile, where a young man called Martin lives with his cats. Martin lives in a little town called La Serena, where he studies to be a mechanic. His passion, apart from his cats, is football, and if he's not studying, the only other thing to do in this town is to play football with his mates. And, unfortunately, while he was playing football, that's when he got injured. This meant a lot of rest and staying at home, and it was while he was at home one day he started noticing things moving on their own. While he was watching a movie one day, something started knocking at the door. So being faced with a weird but scary activity, he took out his phone and started recording to show his landlord so he can request a move to a different accommodation. And this is what he recorded. Watch. Conche su madre, weón. Estaba viendo una película, weón. Y. Y como que, weón, estaban golpeando la puerta. Te lo juro, te lo juro, te lo juro, te lo juro. Y nada, conche tu madre. No, weón. Conche tu madre. Conche su madre, weón. Ay, weón. A mí no me dan tanto miedo estas weas, pero es que estoy solo, weón, de verdad. Otras veces he estado acompañado, no sé, con mi mamá, no sé, pero ahora yo vivo solo y, y esta wea está con Chetumare. No. Ya, pues, weón. Ay, con Chetumare, ya. Uy, weón, me asusté con el reflejo, con Chetumare. Nada ahí. No, oh, weón, sí. No hay nadie, oye, te cruza nada. Oh, conche su madre. Uy. Te cayó esa weá, weón. Ay, 
se tomhle na sombr. Pajde. Neví. Takhle. So the first clip starts with Martin in bed watching a movie. He started recording because a few minutes ago he heard knocking on the bedroom door, which is scary enough because he lives alone. Suddenly, the door knocking happens again. Just as he's about to reach for the door handles, something on the other side of the door knocks again, which startles Martin. He claims that he's not scared of it, but that's not how it looks, and I don't blame him. Because to think that someone or something is on the other side of that door is absolutely terrifying. Meaning that someone or something is inside his home. And don't forget, Martin lives by himself. As the knocking continues, Martin opens the door and looks into the living room, which is completely void of anyone. This is all new to Martin. You see, up until recently, Martin lived at home with his mum, so he's not used to being alone. After checking the living room, he shows the empty closet to the camera. Just then, from the bedroom, you hear something fall, which turns out to be a lamp. As he puts the fallen lamp back on the surface, something starts knocking again. But this time, the knocking is coming from the bathroom. He opens the bathroom door, turns on the light, but, as usual, there's no one there. Bueno, ya estoy ordenando aquí la ropa porque ya como, como me tengo que, que ir y desocupar todo el, lo que es el departamento. Tengo que obviamente sacar todas la, las cosas y todo eso. Aquí estamos. Porque igual ya no, ya no puedo hacer nada, pero estaba ordenando y, y de nuevo se cayeron cosas. Ya obviamente se vuelve como un poquito normal, entre comillas. Pero no voy a negar que me da un poquito de miedo. Y... Obviamente tengo que desocupar acá. Y... Ah. Corta el huevo, jugar. Ustedes escucharon ahí. Y acabo de salir de acá y no ya estaba todo en su lugar. Ya. Ya no sé qué hacer porque tengo que guardar todas las cosas, los platos. Igual ya tengo un poco más desocupado acá. Me falta sacar la bicicleta, que es lo más callo. Pero. Estoy, ¿cómo se dice? Un poquito ya cansado, como que no... <coughs> como que no, no puedo... Donde no puedo ni dormir, ni, ni hacer nada más. Como que... Ya no, me estoy volviendo loco. <risa> bueno, se me cortó, se me acabó la memoria del video, pero... Siguiendo con lo que les decía ya, como que... Cosa que pasa, cosa que suena, que se cae, ya es como... Chucha. Ya es como, ya, pico. ¿Qué le voy a hacer? De nuevo se me agotó la memoria, pero... Bueno, yo no sé... No sé qué, qué más decirles, qué más hacer, ya, ya les mostré.
Ni siquiera quería subir esto, pero creo que grabando igual como que me siento un poquito más acompañado porque... Porque ustedes saben, uno no... Ah. No pesquemos, no, no pesquemos, Ay, pero conchizo, man. Es que es imposible no pescar, weón, si está... No hay nadie acá. Tampoco. Este es el departamento. Es como ya, como algo, algo así como. Como que no sabéis qué hacer, pues qué, qué, qué decir, si... Sí. Como que tocan la puerta... Bueno, en realidad no sé ni qué decir, estoy, estoy como en shock. <laughs> so Martin confesses that because of the paranormal activity, he feels that it's not safe to sleep in his home. At one point, He thought he was going crazy because of all the random items and furniture moving around. I hear this in nearly all the cases that I've come across. The victim second guesses themselves a lot, not knowing if the things that they are seeing are really moving or if they're going crazy. And that's why recording is so important, because it's only when they start recording and see it close up and for themselves that they start believing that it's real. So, in the video, Martin is packing up all his belongings, ready for the move. When things get pushed onto the floor and furniture moves on its own, the door knocking continues throughout the video. Also, the knocking can be heard on different doors. Martin even walks outside to show that there's no one there who could have knocked on the door, even checking on the floor above his own. Miren, de, de nuevo se está sintiendo ahí, pueden escuchar eh, el, la puerta que están tocando de nuevo. Y... Mira, mira. Se pueden escuchar. Sí. sí, yo pienso que puede ser algún vecino que me está mandando, pero ni cagando. No creo que el vecino se meta a botarme las cosas. Bueno, a ver, me doy por la vuelta. Ahí vamos a, a seguir, como se dice, si es que pasa algo más, eh, mandando video. Eso. The knocking continues. It isn't loud, but the sound is constant. Imagine at night trying to sleep through that. But this time, he opens the door while it's knocking, proving that it isn't a hoax. And again, after checking, he doesn't find anyone outside. So immediately after this, Martin finishes packing and moved out of the flat. That was one month ago, and so far, he hasn't uploaded any updates. I don't mean to sound negative, but in most of these cases, moving out of the haunted home doesn't bring an end to the problems. Of course, there's always the possibility that Martin could be the exception, but unfortunately, in most of these cases, and I mean in three quarters of them, the paranormal activity follows them to their new home, sometimes immediately and sometimes weeks or months later. Regardless of the time, eventually it always catches up with you. So if you're having paranormal problems, then please deal with the situation before moving out. I'd love to know what my viewers think about this, so be sure to drop me a comment down below. 
and tell me all your theories as to how you think the activity finds the families after moving away. But if you want to take another look at Martin's paranormal clips, then you can find his account over on TikTok. The name is on screen. As soon as Martin uploads any more updates, I will let you know. So until then, drop him a comment or two. But when you get there, don't forget to tell him the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. Meanwhile, in New York. Our second case takes us to New York, where a man called Nicholas Long lives. Now, the five videos that were sent to me were filmed years ago while Nick was in college, which is when he moved into the apartment in the videos. So, I emailed him and he replied. So he told me that while studying and working, he moved into this apartment. He didn't have a lot of furniture at the time, but it was his home. While it's not 100% sure where or why he was haunted, what he does know is the events started small, little creaks in the night, and at first Nick dismissed the noises and put it down to an old crumbling building. But no matter what he did, the apartment was always cold, even with all the windows shut. A few months in is when things began to kick up a notch. He would hear footsteps in the middle of the night during hours that he normally wouldn't be awake and he constantly heard the sound of hinges squeaking as though something was being opened and closed all night. So one day, Nick decided that he would get out of his bed and try to capture the strange sounds on camera for his own peace of mind. And this is what he caught. Watch. As Nick walks up to the attic door, suddenly it unlocks right in front of him as though something was inviting him in. But Nick said that he had a bad feeling that he shouldn't go upstairs, like something was waiting for him. At that time, Nick's parents lived a block away, so from time to time he would have his parents' dog Polly over to keep him company. But according to Nick's email, Polly would bug out about certain things in the apartment. The following video is one such night. Now, dogs can sense and see things that us humans just can't, and they have a better sense of hearing. Yo.
So the next night, Nick set up this pipe experiment. He had a bunch of PVC pipes for storing his posters. The idea was simple. Nick stood the pipes up and if anything walked by them, hopefully it would knock the pipes over. So once the pipes were in position, Nick called out. Looking back now, he said that he didn't expect the experiment to work. But it did. Watch. Alright, if there's anything here, knock one of these things over. No strings, anything. I'm walking around it. They're up pretty support. They're pretty sturdy. You know, no strings, anything. Just in case one of them actually does fall over. Fan is off. Alright. If there's anything in here, knock one of these things over. If something's in here, knock these last two over. Yeah, these are like... What the hell was that? These are like sturdy too, like, you know, me walking around, the breeze, the like the little bit of airflow off of me and me stepping around them on the floor is not moving them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm here in my home now, just doing computer work and stuff, and I keep hearing like knocks and noises. I'm gonna set my phone right here. I'm gonna keep both my hands in the frame and see if it does it again. I'm not gonna move my lower body or my legs or anything. watch now it's not going to do it if anything is here can you make that knocking noise again is there anything in here Okay, I don't know if you guys were able to hear that, but I definitely heard it again. Could you do it a little bit louder? Okay. <laughs> All right. Where did that come from? It sounded like it was in the... Hold on, let me turn the lights. It sounded like it was in here. It's just the pantry.
no idea what that was. Not that closet. Not that closet. I'm trying to replicate. This one doesn't shut all the way. But it doesn't really like to. Okay, I did just hear it again. I have no idea what it could be. I'm trying to like replicate it. Just by like. I have no idea what it is. Wait a minute. Holy shit, that's it. If someone's here, can you please open that door again? You open and close it. I don't know if it was my eyes messing with me. I thought I just saw the door move a little bit. Can you please open it and close it again if there's anything here? Man, I swear I'm seeing it move, but it might be my eyes. That moved. It did just move right there. I saw that. Could you push it open? No strings, anything. Just in case it does. Could you open the door? Please. I know you like doing this. You've done it before. You always do this. You open and close this door. And I could have sworn I latched it before. So if there's anything here, can you please just push open the door? Doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. I'm seeing it close. I'm seeing it close. Push it open. Come on. I want to see this shit like firsthand. Like, I want to see something like crazy happen. I've seen you do this before. I know you can do it. Just push it open. And I'll leave you alone. That's all I want to see. I know you can. There we go. All right. It does slide and close by itself when it's below that point. It will close on its own. However, when the door is latched, which I don't think it was latched walking by it just now, but I did latch it before, so it's kind of weird. But you can't pull or push this door open. You have to physically turn it to open it. And going back to the last video too, if someone were to run up these stairs, listen to this. That is not quiet. And for just now, both these windows are latched closed. This is where I have all my storage and stuff up here for like tools and boxes. But these three windows are latched and closed. I almost never open them. Uh, in here is the storage attic space where the doors are not good. Hold on, let me see if I can turn a flashlight. There we go. And there is nobody or anything up here. And I'm already assuming all these little orbs or whatever you want to call them. That's just dust. I know that for a fact. There's, it is extremely dusty up here. I'm, that door should not be opening and closing because all these windows are closed. There is no draft in this apartment right now. I am the only one here. But I want to see if it'll do it again. It is now closed and latched. If there is anything here, please turn the door handle and open the door. Or if you can do it without turning the door handle, that'd be pretty cool too. Because I don't know how that would work. But if there's anything here, please open this door. Just open up the door. 
It's not that hard. I know for a fact, the second I go back to my office and sit down and start working, this shit's gonna open. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm going to go in here. I'm not gonna stop recording. Because I know for a fact, the second I sit down in here, this shit's gonna open. So go ahead, open it. I'll be in here. I won't look. seconds I fucking called come on really you gotta do that shit to me all right now close it come on good job man why can't you do the cool shit when I'm filming or like right in front of me that's yeah that's pretty cool actually all right I'll give you props that was cool So according to Nick's email, this last clip was recorded much later, after he had graduated from college. He had moved back into the same apartment, but by then he had a better job and more furniture. Also, he went on to say that all the time he was in the apartment, he never felt threatened. Nick said that the paranormal has always intrigued rather than scared him. He said that he was more worried about catching the activity on camera so his friends and parents would believe him. These videos were captured years ago and since then Nick's moved to a new location and started a family of his own. He says he now has a lot more to risk which is why he stopped exploring abandoned buildings. But he started a new project and even though it's unrelated to the paranormal I'm still going to ask you to go and check it out for him. So, if you're into tools, DIY or just need some help and advice about tools and life hacks in general, then jump on over to his brand new YouTube channel. The name is on screen. I wish you all the very best life has to offer for you and your family. So, jump on over to Nick's YouTube channel and drop him a good luck comment or two. But don't forget, when you get there, to tell him the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. The Haunted Room There isn't a lot of information about the next case. All I know is the channel was made in December 2017 by a young man named Chris Drake. Normally, before I upload the video, most of the time I get in touch with the content owner or the person that is haunted and I ask permission for using their content. Also, to get some background information about the location and the haunting. But sometimes that is impossible because of multiple reasons one being that the channel isn't active anymore. Another reason could be that there wasn't any forwarding email or any way to contact the owner. And these are the issues I was faced with this case. All I know about this quick case is the young man was named Chris and he had some paranormal issues in his bedroom. The activity would range from flashing lights to orbs. Doors would open and close and footsteps would be heard, all while Chris was in the same room. In the description section of the first video, which is a little over one minute, Chris at first says he didn't believe in ghosts, but he said because of the weird sounds and his dog started acting strange, he left the camera running one night while he went out to meet a friend. He says because he rents a single room in a shared house, he always has to lock the door and no one else has a key. The only other light source in the room was the cupboard and in the video, the cupboard door opens and closes on its own. But something even more scary was caught on camera. Now, remember, the room was locked and empty. 
watch. In the first video, you see Chris leave and you hear the door lock. But then a few seconds later, you see movement as something casts a quick shadow on the bed. Then the cupboard door opens and closes. And then you hear rapid clicking like someone is flicking a light switch off and on really quickly. I don't know if the dog was in the room at the time, but if it was, it must have been petrified. Then, in the second video, again, Chris leaves the camera on while he goes to the shops. Suddenly, the bedroom light turns off and you hear a door, which we now know to be the cupboard door, slowly creak open as the light from within 
spills out onto the bed. Now, if what Chris says is true, that the bedroom door was locked and no one else was in the room, then what happens next is truly terrifying because something passes in front of the light three times and on the fourth flash, a shadow is seen on the bed. Later, Chris started to refer to this as the Shadow Man. Loud bangs can be heard coming from the darkness and other strange sounds too. Then, the definite shape of a shadow can be seen standing in the doorway of Chris's cupboard. If this was real and what we are witnessing was indeed paranormal and not fake, then God only knows how many times this thing stood there in the darkness of that doorway watching Chris while he slept. It stands there still like it's waiting for something. Then it must have heard or sensed Chris because suddenly it shoots off and turns off the light. And a few seconds later, you hear Chris return home. People say they wanted me to show you the whole door and do the same thing I did last time. I'm just going to ask it. I'm just going to ask it to open the door. Nothing hard. Okay? That's that. Oh, well. If there's anybody in this room with me, could you open that door for me, please? It'd be really nice if someone could open that door. Hmm. It usually does it by now. I wonder what the heck was that about. Gypsy, what are you doing? <laughs> There it goes. Told you guys. I told you. Now. Oops, drop some. There we go. Okay. See? Nothing's in here. No one is in this room at all. Not one bit. See? Look. No string. No string. Not on the door at all. And now I'm going to show you why I did this again. Look at this. I've blocked this door off so it wouldn't bother me no more. And it tore up my carpet. It clawed on my door. I'm freaking out. Like, I'm about to move out, honestly. Now, if you've been watching my channel for some time, you would have learned a thing or two. And one of them is to never communicate with the entity. Once it knows you can see and hear it, it will never leave you alone. And that's how attachments can start. Then, later, if things get bad, then you'll become its personal energy drink, sucking the life out of you, all the while getting stronger and stronger, while you wake up with aches and pains, feeling lethargic, and generally all around shitty. So please, don't communicate with it. Chris asks the entity to open the door, and after a while, it does. The cupboard is completely empty apart from a few clothes, and more importantly, there's no strings on the door handle. So, to me, this looks 100% genuine, but what do you think about it? Chris stuck something underneath the door to stop it from opening while he slept, but that must have angered the entity because it tore up bits of the carpet and scratched on the door, which doesn't sound like a normal everyday ghost to me. Chris mentions that he plans on moving out, which anyone can understand, but 
the chances that the entity heard that as well was quite high. And we all know that ghosts can follow you when you move out of your home. I'm sitting on my bed. Watch this. If there's anyone in here, open that door. If there's anyone in this room, open that door. Try harder than that. Open that door. Try harder than that. After this last clip, which was posted in September 2020, the channel went completely dark and Chris disappeared. In the comments section, for the last few weeks before he disappeared, Chris always replied to his comments and he mentioned that he was going to buy some equipment and start investigating more about the paranormal and expand his channel. But then, for whatever reason, Chris disappeared and his viewers were left wondering the same thing. What happened to Chris Drake? Chances are he moved out into another home, but why didn't he give an update or at least answer his comments? But for now, it's a mystery, but I'll keep on digging and if I find out anything, I will let you know. You can check out his videos again if you want. The name is on screen. If you see this Chris, then get in touch with me using the email below. We'd love to know what happened to you. Thank you. The Voodoo Doll For our next chapter, we're jumping over to TikTok, where a man has uploaded a couple of videos of paranormal activity happening in his home. The videos are not that long, and there isn't a lot of information I can give you. All I know is the man lives at home with his mum, and when he moved in a few weeks ago, while moving in his furniture, underneath the old chest of drawers, he found a homemade figure made in the shape of a man. He didn't talk much about the figure, or did he show us what it was made out of, but to me, it looks like it was wrapped in tape or plastic. He didn't like the look of it, and he said it felt wrong, so he immediately threw it away, but then two days later, he said he found it again in his room. So he went to his mum and told her about it, and his mum told him to put salt across his door and to throw the doll away again. And so he did, but for some reason, things in the home got really weird because after he poured salt across the doorway, weird paranormal activity started in his home. Watch. Say hey man, I need to know what y'all do about this right here, man. I just moved into this crib about two weeks ago. First thing I found when I moved in, I was cleaning out, you know what I'm saying, put my stuff up, look under the drawer, I found this right here. I don't know what this is. So look, I threw it away. Two days later, it's back. So I threw the little black thing away for the second time, and I told my mama about it. She told me to put some salt by the door. Bro, when I did that, well, when I did that, 
Boy, that's when shit really started getting weird now. Real talk. Usually when the shit happens, bro, I be trying to ignore it. But this night, bro, it was just, I don't know, bro. I just heard too much noise in the kitchen, so I started recording. Yo, if there's somebody there. When that happened, bro, I, I was in the Nile still. I'm like, man, maybe they got rats or something up in here. But boy, when that microwave flew open, I already knew it was real. Boy, I was like, oh my god, what have I got? What have, what have I got there? Got myself into? Look, I kept telling, I was like, man, get out my house, get out my house. That nigga, and I threw the whole rack of knives or something at me. I ran up out of there. I said, pew, I'm gone, cuz. So in the video, he says that he heard so much noise in the kitchen that he started recording. He asked if there's anyone there and if he can let him know. And at first, the oven gloves moved slightly. Then the drawers open. If that wasn't bad enough, the microwave then opens, answering his question that there is a presence in his home. Right before he leaves the kitchen, a rack of knives gets pushed onto the floor, showing him how strong the presence is. After this video aired, a lot of people sent in their comments, advice and theories. And so, the man that goes by the name of Jet Ski Main decided to take the advice that was commented the most. And that was to sage the house. So when the uploader saged his home, things didn't go according to plan. The thing about sage is it can be effective if done properly. Sometimes ghosts can be more persistent. If that's the case, then smudging with sage might work. I say might because it can also make the spirits angry as well. So saging isn't a dual method. It's part of the moving on process and should be used cautiously. So when Jet Ski Main saged his home, the spirit didn't like it. Watch. Boom, this part two right here. I took y'all advice. I went to the spiritual store. I bought a bunch of sage. I bought a bunch of um, oils and all that. I spread it around the house and did what everybody told me to do. And I really think it made things worse. Look. I don't went up to the stove. I done spent a whole hundred dollars. I done bought the seashell and, the, and everything for it, for it to go. I thought I was a fisher. I was cool and watching TV. I started hearing doom, doom, doom. Whole time I'm thinking it's gonna be a motherfucker with a goat face or some shit when I open this goddamn door. So I'm like, Ugh! So I'm looking around the room. I'm looking, check the closet. Fuck. Ain't nobody in there. Oh shit. Fuck. The closet door had shut and it was a big gust of wind. Once I seen that chair rolling towards me, I ran up out that bitch screaming for my mama. <laughs> what would you do, man? So saging his home made the activity ramp up. He actually said that he thinks it made things worse. I briefly messaged Jetski Main, who also goes by the name of the Black Ghostbuster, and he tells me that he has some more videos. So if that's something you'd like to see, then jump on over to his TikTok account. The name is on screen. As soon as I've got more updates, I will let you know. So until then, do me a favor and jump on over to his account and drop him a comment or two so he sends me more videos. But don't forget, when you get there, to tell him the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you.
If you've seen something scary, creepy or amazing and you've captured something paranormal on camera or maybe you're a paranormal investigator and you need some help to get your content out there or you might be unlucky enough to live in a haunted house and you need some help and advice because you think you're all alone. Well, you're not. Project Dark Knight Horror is here for you. So, send in your videos, clips, links, photos, stories, ideas and more to Project Dark Knight. The email is on screen. Thank you. Brandy's Ghost For our last case today, we're staying on TikTok with an account that belongs to a woman called Brandy. Now, Brandy is no stranger to the paranormal. In fact, she's been haunted for years. So much so, she's moved houses only for the paranormal to find her again. Brandy is a full-time mum and works from home, which is how she's managed to document her paranormal case files so well. Like I said, Brandy is a full-time mum, but she also loves old school music and horror movies, and she loves to have fun, which shows in her videos. But, unfortunately, because of her paranormal problems, most of her content is about strange activity that happens in her home. Sometimes you see or hear about a case that you just know in your bones is genuine. And at first glance, Brandy's haunting is just that. And I've had the pleasure of conversing with her recently. And she told me that she lived in an old house for almost 15 years, which was haunted. And for the last two years, she's been now living in a new home. But unfortunately, and just like a lot of other cases we've seen on Project Dark Knight, the paranormal found Brandy. And now she's been living alongside the paranormal again. So she created a TikTok account to document the activity. And there's a lot. Brandy told me that she's always been open and receptive to the spirit world. And it's only when she grew up that the paranormal activity around her ramped up. Some people can see, hear and feel ghosts more than others. That's a fact. And Brandy is one such woman. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the house that Brandy and her family live in now is directly next door to a cemetery. Watch. Hi hey, Dark Knight family, my name is Brandy. I am 36 years old. I am from Knoxville, Tennessee. I am married with children and I'm haunted. The videos you are about to watch are mine. Um, they are of two separate houses. The first house is the one where I've noticed the activity. The second house is where I've moved to and the activity has followed. If you are interested and you want updates, I continue to document my haunting and I post them on TikTok. It is at just the tip ton. So if you're interested, you can find me over there. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all. So I'm sitting here watching TV and there's some strange noises that keep coming out of the hallway. So I told you we're going to document everything. So we're going to investigate this together. There's some banging noises coming up in here. Yeah, Toby, what the fuck is that? Well, there you go. Door shutting on their own. It has been quiet here for months. Then just a few weeks ago, I started hearing scratching sounds. Tapping. Now the lights. What the fuck? These are two videos just from this morning. Lord, please don't start acting out again. Stick around. I will try and capture more.
Listen at the end. Do you hear something? Or is it just my nerves? So Brandy moves into a new home which is next door to a cemetery and as soon as she moved in she knew that the ghost or ghosts had followed her. From here on out Brandy starts capturing and documenting her paranormal problems in this house. Brandy didn't know it at the time but the activity in her home gets so active that her story gets featured on a couple of paranormal TV shows. Watch. Excuse the way I look, but now that I have moved, I have come to show you where I have moved. Um, and my haunting from the other house 100% has followed me. Um, I'm going to show you what I've moved next door to, okay? So, let's flip the camera. Okay, so... I'm next door to a church. There's a graveyard there. And there. They're very old tombs. Okay. And then when you flip over here, that's my driveway. So, when we come up this way. Okay. This is the church parking lot. This is my driveway. Okay. Okay. This is my house. Do you want a tour? Let's give you a small tour. Here's the bathroom that's in my room. This house has three other bedrooms and another bathroom. That's Aaron's closet. It's my closet. All my stuff. Ignore the laundry. A lot needs to be done. The babies. There you go. I think it may have followed me here, or something from the cemetery next door is paying us a visit. Please read the description. What the fuck is happening? No, 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 no. So in the video, Brandy gets the feeling that something has followed her to a new home. Or maybe it's a spirit from the graveyard next door. So the door starts off open and Brandy notices the bathroom door is moving. But... When she goes in, there's no one there.
then, as she says what the F is happening and walks out, something right in front of her falls off the shelf, as if the spirit is letting her know it's there. And that's when she realizes that the door is now closed. Watch the following short clip and let me know if you spotted the paranormal activity. Brandy and her daughter Lydia didn't at the time. So Lydia and I have been seeing you guys do these on here and we saw one at Walmart. There was only one left so we decided to buy it and now we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we were getting water everywhere. <laughs> Instead do it like this. Okay. You did now it. we need to... Okay, open it. Open it, open it, open it. Ew. <laughs> Open it. Here, 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 here. Okay, now open it. Ew. <laughs> it keeps squirting out. Holy shit! That was creepy. Oh, Lydia, she's pretty. I like her. It says something too. about cold water. That's nasty. I want to know what that is. Nobody. I thought I imagined the So while Brandy is working, suddenly, unbeknownst to her, the little teal door opens first. Then, shortly after that, the bigger cupboard on the right hand side opens, all without making any noise. But, Toby the dog heard it. Now, remember, dogs have better senses than us, and they can hear and see things that we can't. Well, that was too much for Toby the dog and he seeks safety and shelter by Mama Brandy. Then, again, very quietly, a picture frame above the crucifix starts swinging. This clip and a few others would later be featured on a couple of paranormal TV shows, and it's even mentioned by Jack Osborne. And then 
Right, guys today's the day here's a video i was telling you about when i was doing laundry heard some noises got scared heard a lot of noise ran into the kitchen all the cabinets and all the doors are open this particular moment did scare me enjoy y'all i'm obviously doing laundry on lunch and there has been some crazy ass fucking noises have been going on let's flip the camera to the front so with me being here by myself okay so all the doors are open this time it's fucking oh what the fuck? Oh, oh, no, fuck this, y'all. I'm not even. Now I'm sitting in my car. I'm fucking terrified as shit. Don't want to go back inside. My bait pin's in there. I've got to get back to work. Like, what the absolute fuck was that? This is a scene straight out of a Hollywood horror movie. Brandy is at home doing the laundry when suddenly she hears loud noises coming from the kitchen and starts recording. She addresses her viewers and talks about the noises. Then she flips the camera and starts talking when all of a sudden four bangs can be heard coming from behind her. So she immediately turns around and returns to the kitchen. And amazingly, all the cupboards and drawers are now open, even the dishwasher and the microwave, whereas before they were all closed. Guys, I've been sitting on the couch working today because I slept wrong or some shit and the toilet just flushed on its own. Toby's pretty freaked out. Um, we're gonna check, we're gonna, we're gonna check this shit out for a second. Um, I flipped the camera. Ah! Y'all. What the fuck? Late last night, I heard noises that were unusual for our house. You can't want food. No. <gasps> there was a noise. Brandy and Aaron were in bed when suddenly this happened. As if you're probably not looking to have anyone ask you any questions about weekend plans right now, um, which is what you can ask about, which makes sense. Let's go ahead and floor dance and focus down. Okay. Uh, 
Angel Ear. So we're going to jump on this trend. I'm sorry for screaming, but screaming's what I do. And if you lived in my haunted house, you would fucking scream too. So we're going to jump on this trend. I'm sorry for screaming, but screaming's what I do. And if you lived in my haunted house, you would fucking scream too. Are you investigating? Oh, I looked like a fat cow just then. Everybody knows my skeleton was on the wall. <sighs> okay guys so I've been working and it's been a minute since I posted a, a video of the activity that's been going on but um, there's some there, there's a lot going on right now let me show you what kind of what's happening okay do you see the mirror has been doing this for like 15 minutes now <laughs> So now you've met Brandy, and now you know about her paranormal journey. I've been constantly in touch with Brandy and Aaron, and I have to say, it was an absolute pleasure in making this feature, and to get to know them. Some channels, when you watch, you know straight away if they're fake, and some you just can't tell. But then, there's a few channels and accounts that when you watch, you just know from the jump that the haunting is real, the activity is real, and the people are genuine. And this account is one of them. I'll be constantly keeping an eye on this channel from here on out, and I urge you to do the same. Brandy and Aaron don't want the paranormal in their life, but they make the most of the cards that they've been dealt, and because of that, Nothing can beat them, not even the paranormal. This haunting is happening right now as we speak and Brandy uploads most days. She also replies to most of her comments. So after you watch the video and find the secret word, jump on over to Brandy's account. The name is on screen. Brandy is a sensitive and she can channel paranormal energy. So, if you have any questions about her haunting, or your own, then why not drop her a comment or two? But don't forget, when you get there, to tell her the Dark Knight sent you. Thank you. If you've made it to the end, then I salute you. You proved that you're a true fan of horror. So remember, if you're interested in ghosts, poltergeists and demons, haunted houses, random nautica and urban exploring, cursed objects, serial killers and strange dark mysteries, then Project Dark Knight Horror is the channel for you. I absolutely love all things horror and I'm so passionate about my channel. So, if you like what you see and you think I deserve it, then can you show your love and support by subscribing to the channel? I'm a true believer in good karma. The kindness that you put out into the world, you always get back tenfold. Because what goes around always comes back around later. So, by subscribing to Project Dark Knight and clicking the like button, you'll be doing a good deed for me, the Dark Knight and you'll be due a big fat lump of good karma. Also, if you didn't know, I've made a private group on Facebook which is exclusive and hidden from the world, meaning you can't search it or find it. The only way to get in is by clicking the link in the description section and I'll open the door for you. So, if you're a fan of horror and you love ghosts, poltergeists and demons and all things dark and twisted, 
and you want to be part of the horror community as well as getting to know your Dark Knight, then click the link in the description section. Next, if you didn't know, I've made some merch. I've combined my love for all things dark and twisted with my passion for all things urban. And what you're looking at is the result. Remember, these have been designed and made by yours truly, The Dark Knight, and they are exclusive to the channel. So, if you want to look cool, dark and stylish, then look no further. Grab a piece of Project Dark Knight history before it's all gone. Lastly, I want to say a massive thank you to my lovely Patreons who go that little bit further to support Project Dark Knight. Getting the views on YouTube isn't always a guarantee, and with so much competition, it's getting harder and harder to get by. But with the support from our loyal Patreons, it's a lot easier and it means I can continue to make Project Dark Knight my full-time job. Some of the names on this list have been with me since the very beginning. Those names are Dawson Lip, Andrew M. Gross, Laura Rohde, George Lopez, Countess Monet, Greasy Cox, Donna Sayers, D. Michael Smith, Catherine Murphy, Trumpet, Anna, KJ Majid, Honey Badger, Charlie X24, Judah, Christy Santi Steven, Seth J, Chris, Are You Voodoo, Jacob Wilk, Cynthia Glover, Eddie E, Matt and Katie Murray, Michael Conlon, and Kevin Snipes. Thank you so much for your kind and generous support and as a thank you I will continue to share my content with you earlier than anywhere else. So from the bottom of my heart to all my lovely loyal Patreons and also you at home my dear subscribers because it's thanks to amazing people like you who keeps the engines running at Project Dark Knight. And always remember You've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror, and I am the Dark Knight, signing off. Peace! Don't ever laugh as the hearse goes by, for you may be the next to die. They wrap you up in a big white sheet, from your head down to your feet. They put you in a big black box and cover you up with dirt and rock.